United Health Group stock, ticker symbol UNH. This stock is down 9% on the year to date chart, underperforming the S&P 500. And it has been a bumpy ride so far for UNH stock. UNH presented quarterly earnings and full year results where they beat on both the EPS and revenue by a decent margin. But for the upcoming earnings, all analysis expect a miss. And people love UNH stock because of multiple reasons, one of the main thing being the dividend. And I understand why with dividend yield at 1.5%, which is a decent number. And look at the 5 year growth rate of 16%. If we look at the past 5 years, we see that UNH easily outperforms the S&P 500 by roughly 15%. And this is including dividends. So could this be the perfect time to buy UNH stock? Well, by the end of the video I will share my 3 price targets. So make sure to stay tuned and see how I build up to this price target. And more importantly, which price target is the most justified in my opinion? I'm very excited to see what you guys think about this stock, so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does UNH do? United Health Group is one of the largest private health insurers providing medical benefits to about 53 million members globally, including 5 million people outside the US. And as a leader in employer-sponsored, self-directed and government-backed insurance plans, United Health has obtained massive scale in managed care. And when we dive in the earnings report from yesterday, we see that the full year revenue was reported at 371 billion, up 15% year over year. Earnings grew 14%, so a little slower, but still really impressive. Cash was 1.3 times the net income, which is also very nice. The full year net earnings per share were reported at $23.86, and the fourth quarter came in at $5.83 per share. In here we see the numbers one more time, but more importantly the revenue for the fourth quarter. Revenue was reported at $94.4 billion up from 82.8 billion, and to me this looks really good. Net margin stayed the same year over year, however there is a big difference with the previous quarter which was sitting at 6.3%. And if we look at the specific United Healthcare segment, we see that revenue was reported at 70.8 billion, up from 63 billion in 2022. However operating margin decreased from 47 to 4.4%. And this is what most investors didn't like. United Health Group heavily invests in Optum, and that segment reported revenue of 59 billion, up from 47.9 billion. And here we also see that operating margin is decreasing, going down from 8.3 in 2022 to 7.7% in 2023. In here we see that total revenues increased 14% and the problem here is that medical costs and operating costs both increased at much higher levels. In total 16-22% to so this is definitely something to keep your eye on. And now that we know a bit more about the company it is time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to receive multiple analysis every week. And also join my Discord channel for free to meet other people within the community and to talk about stocks. It's completely free, so don't miss it out. Let's continue by diving into the fundamentals. UNH is a 457 billion market cap company. PE ratio is at 20, indicating they are at a fair valuation right now. Later in this video I will show you my 3 price targets for UNH stock, so make sure to watch until the end. And in the meantime, please let me know your thoughts on United Health Group. Revenue is at 371 billion, and in this graph we see that revenue went up in the long run. And this is also one of the reasons why I like this company so much, it is growing so consistently. Margins are going up and down in the past decade, but in the past couple of years there was an upward trend. However, in the most recent earnings report we see that margins are decreasing a bit, so this is something to keep your eye on. 
EPS is pretty much the same story as the revenue. It is growing really steady and consistent. Analysis expect that EPS is growing really nice and steady in the coming years all the way up to $45 per share. On a yearly average you're looking at 10 to 16% growth. To me this looks really good. For the revenue analysis expect pretty much the same. The only difference is that growth numbers are a little bit lower with 8% growth per year on average. Return on assets is sitting at 8% which is a decent number. Return on equity looks really good and the most important number return on invested capital is sitting at roughly 14% which is a great number. It is also higher versus the 5 year average which is very nice. Current ratio is at 0.8 which is a great number. It is also pretty steady historically. So this looks good to me. Right now UNH has 67 billion in debt. And I prefer companies that can pay down at least a big chunk of their total debt with the total cash. UNH has 30 billion in total cash. So they can't pay down a big chunk of their debt. To me this is a really good sign. And also one of the main reasons why I like them so much. They have so much cash on hand. But it is still very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debt of course, but also to buy back shares, pay dividends and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow is going up in the long run at a pretty steady and consistent pace, so this comforts me a lot. Shares outstanding are decreasing in the long run, which is something that I really like. When shares outstanding are decreasing, it increases your ownership in the company. Increases the EPS, lowers the PE ratio, and makes it easier to maintain and increase the dividends. And since we're talking about dividends anyways, dividend yield is sitting at 1.5%, which is a decent number. I would love to see a higher number, but it is still looking pretty good. Annual payout is at $7.52, and payout ratio is at only 29%. I prefer 50% or lower. So right now they have roughly 71% left in cash to buy back shares, pay down debt, do acquisitions and all other things. And now it gets really interesting. The 5 year growth rate is at 16% which is an insane number. They have increased the dividends for 14 years in a row which is also pretty impressive. And if you take a look at these numbers, the dividends paid since 2012, you see that UNH did increase the dividends at a high pace. However, most recently growth is slowing down a little bit. Payout ratio is a very important metric with dividends. It tells you if the dividends are safe. In here we see that historically it looked really good. The range of 24 to 30% is comforting me a lot. In this graph we see the expected dividends in 2023, 2024 and 2025. Of course this is an estimation that can be highly impacted by results, but it gives you a rough indication. It's expected to increase at the same rate as the past couple of years. And overall these dividends look really good to me, but how about the historical returns? I decided to compare United Health stock with the overall market, in this case the S&P 500. Next to that I added ELV stock, one of the competitors of UNH. On the 5 year chart we see that UNH stock did beat all stocks in this list by a significant amount. In total UNH returned 110% including dividends. On the 1 year chart things look pretty interesting. The S&P 500 did beat all stocks in this list by a significant amount. In total the S&P 500 returned 33%, while UNH was sitting at 7% and ELV at almost 14%. On the 6 month chart it is again looking really interesting, because both the S&P 500 and ELV are beating UNH by a significant amount. On the 1 month chart it is the S&P 500 that is winning with 2% return. UNH has dipped in stock price leading to a minus 6% return. So bottom line UNH did beat the S&P 500 and a close competitor in the long run. In the short run they are underperforming both. So could this be the perfect time to buy UNH stock? Well, let's check the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. 
I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets, starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm putting in 6, 8 and 10%, based on historical performance, their own outlook, but also because of the analysis. For the profit margin I'm putting in 6, 6.5 and 7%. For the free cash flow margin I'm putting in 6.5, 7 and 7.5. For the PE ratio I'm putting in 18, 20 and 22. For the price of free cash flow I'm putting in the same numbers. It is one of the bigger companies out there that is still capable of growing at a high pace. My desired annual return is 12.5% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Right now UNH stock is at $490. I hit analyze and we see a lot of green numbers. We have a low price target of $399 to $432. We have a mid price target of $535 to $577. And we have a high price target of $750 to $766. To me, the mid price target is the most justified here, telling me that this stock could be undervalued. Which price target do you think is the most justified? Let me know in the comments down below. My final conclusion is that I keep buying UNH at current prices. We talked about this stock in the Discord group several times now and most people do think it is an amazing company and I agree with them. Fundamentals are looking really good. The company is capable of growing at such a consistent level but also at a high pace at the same time. From a dividend point of view things also look really good. I would love to see a bit higher growth here but that's all. From a value point of view I also get really excited right now, they are looking really good at the moment. The thing that I'm really interested in is the upcoming earnings. All analysis expect a miss and the company had a bit of negative news around them lately, potentially pushing this stock down big time. Which could be the perfect time to pick up some shares of course. So in the coming period I will be closely watching UNAs and keep adding more shares whenever I can. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.